Yeah, this is a Coach Prime type of day right here. So strap on in because I got another one for you. Because I remember a lot of you out there gave me the business when I was talking about how Coach Prime wanted to have a HBCU combine. And everybody's up and up and on to the man. Why you gotta have a why you gotta have a HBCU combine? Why it gotta be black and white? Why it's gotta be this, that, and the third? Well, guess what? Hey, I got something new for you. I hope you like this one. This was just for you. But guys, you know your favorite coach is back at it again. Ten toes down, about to tell you how it all went down. But first, welcome back to Tomorrow League Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. And if you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. That's right. Subscribe to the channel. Like these videos. Comment on these videos. Share these videos. Hit that notification bell so you can get all these videos. Not to mention, tap in a friend. Two, three, four, five. Tell them to come on in. It's number positive vibes. Hey. You can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. So without further ado, let's tap on in and get into this thing right now. So many people got so angry with, with me about talking about it made sense for there to be an HBCU combine for these HBCU students. But you know what? As I got to sit back and really looking at the landscape of things that Coach Prime is setting up for his program, which everybody keeps saying, oh, go get you more four or five stars. What does that mean? If you can't coach them, that don't mean nothing. But you know what? What that actually means is, and this is what a lot of these uh, programs have done in the past, not necessarily HBCU programs, but a lot of your big name programs, what they've done in the past, what they've done is they've got the recruits that come in and they also got the transfers to come in to, to build the program up. And what the, what's going on with that is the fact that you have the young players coming in, they're learning from those transfers that's coming into the system and those players that are already there on how to do things in a manner in which the coaching staff is looking for them to do it. Basically, they're, try, they're building a winning program from the ground up. And a lot of times people don't understand that what Coach Prime is doing, he's using the, he's using the playbook of what these big name schools have done in the past and are still doing to keep their program relevant and them still out there winning games. If hey listen, you do you do recall he went to Florida State, right? So I'm sure while he was at Florida State, he saw a lot of ball players coming there that was transfers to Florida State University, making sure that they were able to continue to keep staying competitive while they were still bringing in the recruits at the same time, you know, continuing the cycle to keep going for them to keep winning and winning, right? Okay, so without hey, without me saying no more, guess what Jackson State is doing right now? They're doing the exact same thing. Like Coach Prime always said, Coach, listen, Coach Prime loves to shoot his shot, as he always likes to talk about fellas going into the room and they see that dime, that dime female that they are afraid to, that dime female that they are, they are afraid to talk to because she's just so beautiful. She looks so good. She smells so good. She, the way she articulates her words, it's just, you know, that fella gets a little, you know, he gets, um, What's the word I want to use? That young man get intimidated. That's right. She intimidated. Just like how it happens out there on the field. When you put a certain type of ball player out there in front of somebody else, in front of one of them dogs out there on the field, and guess what? That dog intimidates that player to the point to where that player just bow down and let that person do whatever it is they want to do, or better yet, don't even put up an effort and try. What Coach Prime is getting everybody to understand is the fact that he ain't afraid to shoot that shot. Win, lose, or draw. If you get it, and like he told you, he already told you, he know he can get it. It's no question. He know he can get it. He got the confidence, the bravado, and just the 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 oomph to go with it. Let you know he can get it. So if you if you're on that type of time and you thinking that way, guess what? Those are the type of people you want to have around you that know they can go out there and go get it. So that's what this is all about, guys. It ain't about dag or oh, we gotta have more five stars just for him to go out there and compete. No, it's about trying to get those eyes on those ball players so that they can be looked upon as going to play on the next level, which is what this is all about. There's a lot of kids out here that have dreams that want to be professional ball players. There's a lot of kids out here that love the fact that they're going to college for free and they're getting their tuition paid for, but they don't have a problem with being the accountant, the lawyer the manager, the uh, 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 the branded ambassador, you know, they, they don't have a problem with none of that stuff. So you got to understand from that standpoint exactly exactly of what's going on. And that's what he, that, hey, that's the table that he's setting right now. So guys, I'm telling you right now, y'all better get ready because this thing is getting ready to blow up, blow up quicker than you could ever imagine. Because trust you me, I'm going to give Jackson State two years, two years. This is going to be the first one. I'm going to give them two years. They're going to end up playing a power five school if not several of them on this schedule, watch what I tell you. If not a power five school, they're going to play a big name college that's going to get them the exposure that they need for these for these NFL uh, scouts and these owners for them to see these players out there on the field. Trust me, guys. Like I said, Mr. Ezra over there at Sam Houston State University, he came from where? 
He came from Howard University. Guess what? Put on a show in the FCS National Championship. Guess what? He got eyes on him now. Why? Because he had to leave from where? A HBCU to go to an FCS school in order for him to get that exposure. But why Why can't it happen the way that it should happen, which there's, a, there's exposure for everybody across the board? That's what this is all about, guys. But until next time, if you like the content, please like, share, subscribe. That's right. Subscribe to the channel. Like these videos. Comment on these videos. And remember, be the one and lead.